did you choose Annie? I thought this family meant something to you. I love you all very much. Yeah, but you love Annie more. Oh, really? What does that make me, a terrible man, because I've fallen in love with a, with a vibrant, strong woman who might love me in return? When you, when you were diagnosed with uh, cancer, you didn't come running to tell me about it. The only reason you came to me at all, because you wanted to use your illness as a bargaining chip. Now, the only reason why I didn't tell you is because I didn't want your pity. Do you want my pity now? No. Oh. I don't want anything from you. Good. That means we'll be the same dysfunctional mess this family has always been. Okay, Dad. That's brilliant. The old double jeopardy gamut. It can't be tried twice for the same case, so you hide behind the law even though you're breaking it. And oh, what's, what's a little perjury if you win the case? Because you can't be charged for that since you never took the stand on your own trial. It was your plan all along, wasn't it? Mm, what a wicked mind. Only Annie knew how torn up you were about choosing her over your family, so she took the stand herself. Sacrificed her case and your plan all so you could be with your family. It was, wasn't until then that I realized how much she really loved me. A woman. No, no uh, trickery. No uh, manipulation. Just a woman who gave up her happiness for mine. But I've been told that I, I've got to discover the real Annie so I can hate her. Well, I've discovered the real Annie, and I've never loved anyone nearly as much. Hey, Jesse, can I talk to you for a second, please? Uh, I gotta get back to the station, but okay, what? Sure. I, I got a call from an LA number. It was a muffled voice. I couldn't even tell if it was male or female. Crank calls, not really my department. No, no, I understand that, Jesse, but Kendall is in LA, okay? I think it might be her, so could you please trace the number for me? Something doesn't feel right. All right. Let's see what I can do. I'll run this by Zach, see if something comes up. Okay. Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. You may be seated. How am I doing? You're natural. Your father can't hurt you anymore. You'll make your statement. We'll get a restraining order. And I'll take you back to the Miranda Center where you can stay as long as you need. My father will never forgive me. Forgive you? You're not the one who needs forgiveness. You've shown that you have the courage to fight back. Your father can't abuse you anymore. makes a statement it all comes out henry's murder me and your dad covering it up everything we have to make sure that doesn't happen beardsley knows everything he gave us the tapes and we burned them but he saw them pretty soon he'll be known all over town as an abusive son of a bitch kind of ruins his credibility listen want to trace on that number asap please madison say anything yet only that he hit her Jesse, if you don't mind, I'm going to take Madison back to the Miranda Center. Better idea. Until the restraining order clears, um, I want Madison to stay with Angela and me. Okay. I mean, certainly there's no safer home than the home of the police chief. All right, then. You, you keep me posted, though. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. If you don't believe Madison now, you're taking her in? That's a hell of a turnaround. She said nothing. I thought you'd ask about Spike or Ian. She always fought for those boys, always. Fought for them to be healthy, be strong, be alive. And now, nothing.
silence. If she had asked to see the boys, would you keep her from them? No. No, you wouldn't. You're not that kind of man. You love those boys so much that you want what's best for them. And you know that that means having their mama in their lives. Ma, what if the mama doesn't want the boys in her life? I don't believe that. I think Kendall waited to call, hoping that maybe some of the pain and hurt would be done. Should have fought for those kids. Yeah, you're right. But we don't have all the facts. All we know for sure is that Right now, you are hurting so bad, you'd like to tear the whole world apart with your bare hands. You know, it's true what they say. Time does heal. Okay, there is one big fat problem with this great plan of yours. I'm in love with Zach. I will never, ever love you. This is insane. This is this is crazy. No, no, no don't me. touch me. No, maybe it's time for you to take another nap. No, don't leave me alone. I said, don't touch me. You know, someday, Kendall, you might feel differently.